Google have just released Firebase Studio, so you can now build, edit, and deploy apps from your browser. And this is completely free. Now, today we're going to be comparing it versus Bolt.new and Lovable to see which one performs the best. So here's a couple of examples of what I built. So I actually built a flashcard app for SEO using Firebase Studio. Just went in, said create an SEO app for learning link building, and it did its magic. Here's another one. So I actually created this SEO tool inside Firebase using Gemini. Again, it was completely free to build and you can deploy it to the web like you can see right here. So we can actually create a example domain and we're off to the races. And then we also have bold.new, which is a paid tool and lovable, which is typically a paid tool. All right. So what we're going to do is compare them now side by side and we'll take a very simple example right here. So I'm going to create a recipe creator. So it's going to be a simple recipe maker that generates recipes based on the ingredients I have in my fridge. Simple UI, green color scheme. We're going to do the same inside bolt.new and love bolt and see which one creates the best outputs, which one has the least bugs, etc. We'll generate that inside bolt.new and also inside lovable. I think lovable is going to ask me to sign in. Let's get ourselves logged in here. There we go. Then we'll hit enter. And bolt.new is already off to the races. It's not messing around here. So you can see it's already creating the app. I do think the UI in inside bolt.new is super nice, to be fair. Love for is working its magic. Firebase Studios already come up with a sort of blueprint before it starts creating it. So it's come up with the app name, Fridge Chef, the features, and also the style guidelines. So let's see if this actually works. We're going to click on prototype this app. I do notice that when I've been using Firebase Studio this morning, it comes up with a lot of bugs, but we'll see how that goes in a second. I also believe that you need to plug in a API key for Gemini into this, but we'll see how that goes in a second. So that's working its magic. And once we get the UI for each, we can compare them side by side in a window. So bold.new has already come back with the answers. Lovable is really slow. It seems we'll see what we get back. And free chef is also being coded out here. So it seems like bolt is winning on speed. Let's test this out now. So we'll see if it actually works. We can just check it out on a new domain here. There we go. And we're going to type in our example and see if this works. So I'll just put that I have Marmite in the fridge and see if this actually works. So we'll pl plug that in, hit find recipes. And that is doing nothing. All right. So when we click on find recipes, literally the button doesn't work. So the UI is nice. It went off and created it, but the app doesn't actually work, which is what we needed to do. Let's see what we get back from Gemini. So Gemini has created something similar, but we need to plug in an API key from Gemini. So I'm going to click on auto generate and see if that can just create one for me. And lovable is taking absolute ages. It's not even created a UI or anything yet, but we'll see what we get back in a sec. If it works, then it's already beaten bold.new. So that's generating something now that is totally broken. All right, we'll click on try to fix. Not the best start. All right, so just to recap here, peeps. So bold.new generated a really nice UI, but an app that doesn't work when you test it out. Then we've got Lovable, which totally broke for a very simple app and didn't work at all. And then we have Firebase and we'll test this out. All right, so I'm going to type in Marmite over here. We'll click generate recipe. And look at that, it actually works. Boom shakalaka. All right, so peeps, check this out. It's bold.new, paid tool. You type in Marmite, you click on find recipes. It doesn't do anything. No matter how hard I click that button or how many times. Lovable, it broke on the first attempt, but it has come back to us with an idea right here. So I'm going to put on find recipes, type in Marmite, hit find recipes. Is that going to work? It does nothing. Maybe you have to add the database of recipes, but still, like I was expecting the AI to figure out that we'd need to generate an API key for this so that it could create recipes on the spot. So bolt.new failed, but created a nice UI and Firebase Studio worked beautifully. Look at that. It actually asked for the Gemini API key. We added that in and it created a nice little UI and we are off to the races. All right. If we go to deploy this on a subdomain. We've got that ready to go. If you want to publish it and share it with people, we can click on publish over here. So let's click on next. We'll go on the billing account over here. 
We'll set up the environment. Let's see if we can get this deployed. I've got to say, like, it's not as easy as deploying on something like Bolt New. Bolt New is very easy to deploy stuff. You just click on deploy. But if the app doesn't work, what's the point, mate? All right, we'll click on create rollout here. I believe we're going to have that hosted on this subdomain. So you can see here, it says your app is being built and deployed. This may take up to 10 minutes. Feel free to check that later. So you can just bookmark that and come back to it later. So far, if you check out all of these, Firebase Studio was the only one that actually created a working app, which is insane because this is free. This is paid. This is paid. Wow. Now, the other thing as well, we can just open up a new tab here and then we can start building stuff out. We can also come back to the previous projects and it's quite easy to share this as well. So you can just click on share over here. And then you've got, if you want to start coding like an app, you can also choose between these different styles, right? So Go, Python, Flask, Java, .NET, Android Studio Cloud, Flutter. I know a lot of people like Flutter. Angular, Next.js, Node Express, Gemini API, Jenkit, Astro, pretty much everything you can imagine when it comes to coding right here. It's pretty easy and simple to do. So let's level up now. What I'm going to say from here is create an AI SEO content generator that creates content using this. And we're going to go into the AI profit boardroom. I'm going to grab one of my favorite prompts for creating content, which we can grab from this SAP. Basically as well, like any apps that you're paying for, you could probably create with Firebase at this point. I think unless it's super advanced stuff, like it's going to be pretty simple to, to just code something out, like whether that's a AI SEO content generator, whether that's, for example, a keyword generator, keyword clustering tool, etc. You can create all of this sort of stuff using Firebase, deploy it yourself, have it custom built the way you want it, have the UI exactly how you want it. You don't need to pay for apps anymore, right? Unless it's something super complex. So we're going to say, okay, create an SEO content generator that creates content using this prompt this style prompt, but make sure you ask the user for their keyword. Keep the UI clean, simple, and modern. So we're going to use that inside Firebase. It's developing the prototype, like you can see. We'll go back into Bolt and we'll start a new chat. We'll give it another world. And we'll do the same inside Loveball as well. We'll leave Fridge Chef deploying in the background, the one and only. And now that's come up with a really cool name, which is SEO Alchemist. I really like that. Content input, AI content generation output, download this HTML, FAQ generator, etc. So we'll click on prototype this app. Again, like if you wanted to make this more complicated, you can, but it's going to take more time to code out. Bolt.new, we'll plug in the same prompt. Bolt.new is definitely faster. I think Loveful is probably the slowest and Firebase Studio is in the middle there. So it's going off and creating that right now. This is prototyping. Loveball is spinning up the preview. All right, so Firebase has done its magic. We're just going to auto generate an API key here, which I love as well. I love that feature of I don't have to like when it works. That says error generating the key. All right, that's not good. I was just about to say that I love the fact that Google generates the API key directly inside the chat, but then it totally failed and it didn't work. All right, so we're going to copy an API key for free from aistudio.google.com. We'll plug that into the chat over here. So API key equals, there we go. I'll delete that after. Bold.new has come up with something. The UI is nice, right? That's a nice, simple. Why is this? This is saying, I'm sorry, I cannot generate the API key. All right. I'm just going to put, just generate one yourself then, mate. Can you auto generate? Well, I, this is totally like, okay. I'm going to say, add this to the EMV then. Which is crazy because on the last one, it actually just did its magic and added it. Okay. So that seems to have worked now. We've got some er errors here. Let's click on fix error. Bold.new has come back to us. So let's put in SEO training in Japan. Oh, look at that. It's come back with an output, but the generated content is pretty poor. So look, so we'll count the words up 104 words and it's pretty much empty inside the content here. So I'm going to say inside bot, okay, allow me to input my Google API key and use Gemini 2.5 to generate responses. Lovable has come back here. Let's see what we get back from Lovable. All right. So plug in the keyword, hit generate content. I've honestly, out of everything I would, let's have a look here. 
I was just about to say Loveball did the best, but actually, if you look at the text itself, it's pretty useless. As you see here, it's got the bullet points and it's the same content under each heading. That is no bueno, my friend. So we'll plug that into Loveball as well. And then we'll go back to SEO Alchemist. All right, so that seems to have worked. Let's check if it actually works. Hit generate content. Nothing happens. Firebase has totally failed. So Firebase was winning on the first one. It totally failed on the second one. Let's just check this out. Well, let's have a look here. It has created some content. Let's copy that, put it into Markdown. Worried about SEO? Oh, that's not even generated for the right keyword, is it? Well, what, what keyword did I put in? Oh, okay, yeah, I did put in the keyword, okay. Let's put in the keyword here. Okay, SEO training in Japan. And that is totally not working, all right? So there's a few errors here. I'm going to put, allow me to input my API key inside the app. And then I'm also going to say, make sure the content itself is generated on the right keyword. So you can see how messy it gets when you start creating something a bit more complex than just a basic to-do list app or something like that. We just accidentally close that down. Let's check on bolt.new. So that's giving us this. What's going on here? There we go. We're back in the game. All right. So we're going to grab that API key from each now. We'll plug that into here. We'll put SEO training in Japan. See if that actually works. It does have an issue. So I'm just going to fix that first. Bolt.new has come back to us. We'll hit generate. And Lovable has come back to us as well. I'm not particularly impressed with any of them right now. It's not as easy as you may think. Let's see what we get back. All right, so that's hit an error. Attempt the fix. Lovable might be working. We'll come back to that in a sec. See what we got here. There we go. So Lovable creates the first working prototype, like you can see. If we count the words, it's created a sort of 367 word article there, which is not great, but it's the best output we've got so far. We can also easily deploy that, I think. So if we hit on publish, we can also connect a custom domain. So Love Ball has won that round. Bolt.new failed with the error. Let's try again. Oh, it's just Bolt.new has failed us. Failed us completely. Love Ball is winning. Let's see what we get back from Google now. We'll put in the keyword. Terrible. Doesn't work at all. All right. But on that round, Bolt.new totally failed. Firebase totally failed and Lovable smashed it, to be fair, right? We've even got that deployed on a subdomain and that should be ready to go. Which is crazy when you think about it because Firebase is coding with its own API, but it still can't work. So let's see what the issue is here. We'll fix that error and see if it works. We'll do the same as like Bolt.new. But from what I've seen so far, it seems, yeah, I would say that Lovable seems to be the best for coding more complex apps. Bolt.new doesn't seem to work for anything. And Firebase seems to be good for coding like really basic apps, to-do list or expense calculator or whatever. Let's keep going now. Oh, it's just come up with that error again. So it totally failed, yeah. Don't, from what I can see, like there's no point trying to build complex apps with Firebase. Just simple ones. Bolt.new, let's give this one more try. That's failed again. All right. And Lovewall was the only one that could build something a bit more complex and deploy it to a subdomain. So I've given you my verdict. I've shown you the tests. This is based on real world case studies and just my own experience. But you can see which one did well here and which one let us down and which one is the best so far. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all of my best prompts, tips, workflows, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This community is focused on making more money and saving time with AI. And the prices are going up this month, so make sure you sign up now before you miss out. Also, it comes with all my best automations for email content, social media, AI agents, web automation, scraping, automations, and templates and agents, a crash course to save you hundreds of hours of AI, plus all my best SAPs. And on top of that, we've got an amazing community of people you can ask questions with. And also, we do weekly Q&A calls, so you can jump on those live calls and ask us any questions you have and they get recorded if you want to watch them back. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link burning acceleration session. You'll get a free custom tailored game plan to your business. You'll learn the secrets of link building, answer any questions one-to-one. -one. And this is based on how we've helped hundreds, if not thousands of clients at this point. You can see all the happy testimonials. 
right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching.